Hi, I'm Kate, and I have allergies. Hey guys, so if you saw last week's video, you know that I'm gonna start tackling a little bit more easier recipes, recipes with fewer ingredients, some go-to really good basics for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the first one I'm gonna make is this, I don't really have a name for it, but one pot, one pan meal. All you're gonna need for it, the oven is pretty heated. All you're gonna need for it is butternut squash, some butter, as always, trusty carry gold, some chicken, I just got the Trader Joe's chicken, some red potatoes, and then whatever you wanna season your chicken with, I chose pepper, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of salt and sage. I wouldn't really recommend sage. The sage is key on the chicken. And some Reynolds for an easy cleanup. Let's get started. So I got the Trader Joe's chicken, like I said before, but these um, two boneless, skinless breasts are pretty big, so I'm just gonna use one. And uh, I would make it two serving sizes and then just serve it with a salad. So this chicken could last you more than one meal for two. I'll just take, I would use the whole bag of butternut squash for this and just put it on the side of the chicken. So I'm using the red potatoes. I am gonna leave the skins on because that's where a lot of the flavor is. So just give them a good wash if you choose to leave the skins on too. to go in the oven it's preheated to 400 degrees it'll probably be in there for about 40 ish minutes maybe a little bit less but I'll just keep an eye on it so here we go here is the finished product fresh out of the oven it was in there for 40 minutes which I think was a perfect um, amount of time but obviously depending on how much you make and how big the chicken is you're using that time will vary but here it is, one pan meal, super easy. You can change up your potatoes, you can change up your vegetable, but it's a great weeknight meal. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And if you have any requests for recipes you'd like to see made or recipes converted to gluten-free or anything like that, leave it in the comment box below and I'll be happy to try it out. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next week.